Dr. Elena Kopelsnova. I'm an allergist immunologist here at ENT and Allergy Associates Purchase Office. Today I wanted to talk to you about allergic reactions to medications. So allergic reactions to medications, they can range really from immediate, so we're talking about minutes to a few hours, to something that can happen days after taking medications, and those are called delayed reactions. And today I would like to focus on specifically penicillin allergy. So a significant number of U.S. population is actually labeled as penicillin allergic. The reactions may have happened in childhood and patient then really carries this label for the rest um, of their life. And the truth of it, when you um, have a label of penicillin allergy, it really limits um, a significant amount of antibiotics that you can have. Um, it can even affect uh, you getting antibiotics, something called cephalosporin. It's related, sort of like a cousin to penicillin. So something like five to 10% of all patients report that they're allergic to penicillin. When you truly do the test um, and evaluation, it's found that actually many of these patients are not allergic um, and are able to safely receive penicillin. There's actually an allergy skin test that can tell you whether or not you're allergic. Um, when you have the test, Allergy oils that have different allergens that are found in penicillin, they're actually placed on your skin. You may get a little bit itchy from the test, but at its worst, it's gonna feel like a mosquito bite. Um, by the end of the testing session, you will have an answer as to whether or not you still have allergy to penicillin. Um, granted, it can be a bit of a stepwise process, but this test will help you determine if it's safe or not for you to have penicillin and penicillin-related antibiotics in the future. Don't limit your antibiotic options or end up on unnecessary strong antibiotics because of this penicillin allergy label. Remember, most people, so we're talking about five to 10% of patients report some sort of penicillin allergy, and when we do the test, it ends up being that less than one to 2% are really allergic. Consider getting yourself tested. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. Um, you can also call 1-855-ENT-DOC or book your appointment online.